Hello YouTube, Vintage Terry Collectors and Restorers. Third take on this one, but sometimes things don't turn out as you think. I have my uh, Happy Coffee mug here, which means a successful restoration. And it's the usual bunch of caps on this one. You know, it's a few caps. Um, nothing to, no real big leakers or anything like that, but they are 50 years old. Quite a few of these wedgie transistors, quite a few. In fact, um, the output transistors are 2SC1060s. They tested good. They had actually um, some actual um, silicone grease behind them. They're tight, so I didn't worry about those. All the other transistors were changed. Ex well, actually, all the other transistors were changed. Um, bar barring a little difficulty with one of them. In the power amp and power supply, um, new filter caps, new transistors. Talked about that in the last video using the metal transistors. The tuner was a little bit of a challenge on this one. And um, it was sounding good and it was getting stations, but not quite as many and not as many in stereo as I thought. That I, and I had just had a Pioneer on the bench a little while ago, like an entry-level Pioneer, and it was smoking this one. And very similar tuner design, same HA1115 chip in it. Uh, so, it was a standard design. It has a FET transistor in the FM front end as an FM amplifier. And then the mixer, oscillator. And that mixer transistor, so everything else was C458s, which can easily be replaced with a 2N3904, with a 2222, um, there's a whole bunch that will replace them, and be quieter. And they won't have black lead disease. Um, but that mixer was a C535. And somebody had actually put in, at some point, a BC547, which is a general purpose transistor. But, uh, and which should be fine in that application, uh, should be, it was likely for repair, likely the tuner went dead. Somebody got it back, the people that owned it, and probably noticed it wasn't picking up quite as many stations. So I actually went, I thought to myself, I'll get a new RF transistor, I just didn't have anything that cross-referenced to the C545. There's a local wholesaler very close to me, about a half an hour drive. I actually went and picked up a couple there and put one in and it was a bit better but still not quite right. So I thought, well, let's give it an alignment. I put in a 10.7 MHz modulated uh, signal, went through it with my scope and meter, little tweet, you know, just it was not far off, that's for sure. Discriminator was right on, multiplex was right on, so this thing hadn't drifted that much. Still wasn't quite right. And I looked at, you know, I looked at internet just like you probably do when you come into issues. And you're kind of like, well, what do I do with this? And I didn't find much about it. And I thought to myself, it's that mixer transistor. Even though it aligns to a textbook situation. Sorry, there's the alignment. Structures right there. Shows the type of waveform. Tells you what kind of an amplitude to expect. It was all hitting it. It was lining up like a new tuner. I thought, where am I going to get a 535? People are asking an arm and a leg for them on eBay. Nothing local. So I went into some of my parts bins last night. Spent a few hours on this. And in a parts bin from the 80s, it was pull out parts from some receivers that I had been given that were real basket cases back in the 80s and I just took parts out of them and I took that was kinda like I was trained by a guy that uh, was into saving parts and reusing parts and if something was going to be trashed you know you took out parts from it transformers um, even resistors and capacitors now I would never do that okay but this is one of these rare exceptions where a generic transistor or a substitution wasn't going to work. And I found that I don't, of course, I've reinstalled it, but it was one of these 
wedgies, and the leads were about that long. That's what I found in my cache of parts. It's like it had been clipped off of the board. Maybe it was in a hard to get place. Cleaned off the leads, extended them, soldered some solid um, wires onto it, put a little bit of tubing on it, tested it in my transistor tester, tested okay. Um, put it in there, turned it on, it was smoke and hot tuner. It's one of those tuners you go through and you go, hey, I'm getting that in stereo, and that's so good. Most of the stations that were kind of a, a distant ghost were coming in in stereo. It really perked it up. I was just like, okay, why is this? Well, that, that mixer circuit was built. And there's some uh, couple of coil, mini coils in there. It was built around that transistor. That's all there is to it. And nobody quite makes anything like it. And that's one of those instances where you have to find an original part. Otherwise, so now it's, it's working great. I'm going to enjoy it over Christmas. Put it in my main system for a while. I have a really interesting turntable coming up, but I'll get to that maybe tomorrow. Thanks for watching and listening.